Hi everyone, my name is Aiden Robbins. I'm a filmmaker and content creator. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to import and use motion graphics templates in Adobe Premiere Pro. Motion graphics templates or mogerts are templates that can be designed in After Effects, then packaged and imported in Premiere Pro. So you're able to have a much more complex animation than you might be able to just creating something in Premiere. To get started, you're gonna to wanna to first make sure that the essential graphics panel is open in Premiere. This is what we're going to be using to import and edit our templates. Once you have that open, there are a couple different methods you can use to import a motion graphics template. To import a single template, just make sure you're in this browse section and then click this button in the bottom right. Then you can just navigate to the template you want to open, click open, and you'll find it in that essential graphics panel. You can also import an entire folder by clicking these three dots next to the essential graphics panel and selecting manage additional folders. Here you'll see this pop-up showing the different folders you've imported. You can click add in the bottom to import a new one, then just navigate to the folder that you'd like to open. Mine is this photo collection slideshow right here. Click select folder and you'll see it now appears in the menu then we can just click OK. To access those templates we just imported, you can just check off this box next to local, and then you can select the folder we just imported from that dropdown, and you'll be able to view all of the templates in that folder. You can see if we just take one of these and drag it onto our timeline, then this motion graphics template folder is created in our media bin. Then if we switch from the browse menu to the edit menu of the essential graphics panel, you'll see here we have all of the different options for editing this template. At the top, you can simply adjust the position, scale, and rotation of the entire template at once. Under that, we have some different options to adjust the colors of different elements in the template and adjust the theme. And under that, we can adjust the text. You'll have a different text menu for every section of text or every text box within the template. Here we just have this one text box where we're then able to adjust the text to say whatever we want it to say. You can also adjust the font and the size of the font, the position. Sometimes you can adjust the spacing. And finally, we're able to do what's called media replacement. So this particular template and some other templates you may be working with have photos or videos within them. And you're able to swap those out and put your own media in their place. So if I crack open this footage menu here, you can see we have a separate little sub menu for each of the pictures or videos within these frames. So I can open up the first one and simply drag in a photo of my own from the media bin. And you'll see that that photo is now taking up the space of that frame. You're also able to simply drag these in from your files. So if I open up Finder here and drag a different image into our second placeholder slot here, you'll see it does the exact same thing and puts that image within that frame. And there you go. It's really that simple to work with these templates in Premiere Pro. And this is a really great feature for allowing you to do more complex animations and graphics than you would have been able to beforehand having to work entirely within Premiere Pro rather than being able to have these created in After Effects. Of course, different templates will include different options for adjusting colors and text and photos and videos, but I hope this video gave you the knowledge you need to jump in and start using Mogerts in Adobe Premiere Pro.